You want to win gunfights, am I right? That's probably the most important thing in Rainbow Six Siege. Well, in today's video, I want to try my best to make you better at winning gunfights. And let me tell you, I'm not a god in this game. I'm not winning all my gunfights and sometimes like you, I also lose them. So I will share those clips with you so you can figure out some common mistakes you make when you take a gunfight. Let's get to it. Alright, let's start with important steps of taking gunfight. The first thing you have to always keep in mind is your mindset. It has to be ready. At any moment, you might get into a gunfight. You drone a room or you're roaming as a defender. Regardless of any sound close by, you should check corners, expect a swing from someone, and always listen to sound as you're moving. It's better to get into a gunfight being ready before that rather than just move around and be like, oh wait, that's a guy. Cause then you might miss your shots, your positioning might be off, or your crosser on somewhere else. Or one of the most important things is that you feel stressed. Cause gunfight is unexpected for you. You were not ready mentally and that's why you start shaking. So be more confident and don't stop thinking as you are taking more map control. Here are two clips that shows when I was expecting a gunfight and when I didn't predict the situation in my mind and my crosser and decision making is terrible. Like holy shit. Watch that. Yeah, I need these. Friendly, last operator standing. Time expires in 10 seconds. Second step is your crosser placement. When you are moving in the map, there are different doorways or angles ahead of you. Sometimes you gotta switch your crosser to staircases, then put it back up again on the door. And basically, always where the enemy's head is going to be. If you aim on wall or on the floor, then if you get into a gunfight, you have to adjust your crosser first and then shoot. And that's just too late. I've always said that, the best practice for improving crosser placement is to get into T-Hunt and play different maps. Not useless maps like house. Then work on common angles, try to aim high always and switch your crosser from one angle to another. Here's a great example for cross placement. One's down, one's Ten. in. Nice. Down right side, right side, right side. You pick him. One more. Now, you are expecting a gunfight, you have your crosser on the right place, but what's the third step? Pick angles one by one and don't expose yourself too much. If you look at the clips I'm showing you, I try to leave 80% of my body behind the wall and my cover, and the rest of it exposed so I can see and fight my enemy. Sometimes I make that 20% to something like 5% by just holding the tightest angle ever, and that increases my chance of winning. If you have watched my quick pick video, you know how exactly I move and quick pick with my keyboard. So if you are the guy that presses A or D too much and you end up being exposed, practice this every day in shooting range or just rank games you play. Here are some clips for you guys so you can understand better. Yeah, no, that's the the train, train. Reloading! Alright, you did first 3 steps of every gunfight. Now you're gonna face one of these two situations. Either you and your enemy play hide and seek, which is you both quick pick each other, pre-fire angles, move around to make it harder to kill each other, like this. Or second situation is that you both just pick each other and decide who is going to be the winner. In that case, your aim and movement plays an important role on winning the gunfight. In piano, in, in piano. piano. In piano. Nice. Alright, so far you know the basics of taking a gunfight, so you should be winning more of them, if you do them correctly. What happens next after you win a gunfight is you stop and celebrate. No, you should expect another guy swinging you and after that maybe another guy. So don't just start reloading or look away or stop listening to sound. No, be ready for the second or third guy. Yeah, but I guess not gonna do anything. Yeah, probably not. Okay. Nice, you know. Nice. Okay, I'm playing safe, I'm playing safe. I'm playing safe as well. Yeah, oh, how did not? Okay, so. Down, down, down. Nice. Nice. Alright, let's get to important point you have to know. Swing in first and pre-fire. These two will boost your chances in gunfights. In Siege, if you are the one swinging first, you put the other guy in a disadvantage. You give him less time to react, less space to position himself, and if you add pre-firing to it, you just put him to bed. But now, let's say you are this guy who is not swinging. What can you do? Well, you gotta hold a tight angle as I said before, so someone like me with good cross placement have a hard time shooting your body or head. On the bomb, on the bomb. Is he on the bomb? Yeah, right there, right there. Oh my god, he's on the visa hatch right now. At all. Yellow. 
seconds left. Op 4 has placed a diffuser near a bomb. Destroy it. Diffuser located. Protect the bomb. Disable. Nice deal. Second thing you can do if you're not swinging is to listen to sound. Cause when I'm moving and swinging, you should hear me going from left to right or right to left. That gives you the opportunity to pre-fire the upcoming position, which I'm swinging. So by the time I'm ready to pre-fire and kill you, I'll instead walk into your bullets and die. You have dropped the diffuser. At the end, here's a clip of all the things you should do in gunfights to win more of them. I want you to pay attention to every detail and remember what we talked about till here. Bitch. Again. 190. Uh, Andre on camp. In full bang. Go, 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 go. Oh, he's come off camp. He's, he's still 90 though. Going back towards 90 now. Red thing to one. He's 90 still. Ah, yeah, he's holding me. I just fucking got slammed by him. What the fuck is that? That's a banshee. Jackal's got footsteps, he's tracking him. Mozzie was trophy last year. Still trophy, still trophy. And now, now we are not split, split yeah. but... Nice. And that's all I have for you today. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments so I can help you with winning gunfights. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitch where I stream sometimes. Much love all and I see you all in the next time.